um, you just moving in here? <laughs> Me? I, yeah, I've been here a couple of months. So how do you, what do you think about the place? Yeah, I know there are a lot of cats. <laughs> yeah, some of them are mine. But I'm not a freaking cat lady. Um, you know, they just came accidentally. Um, like that first cat came with, came with the apartment. Uh, the people who used to live here left it. They took the two other cats. Can you believe that? They took the two other cats with them to Oregon and left this, there he is, a scrawny, so anyway, um, so uh, every time I go out the door, he's standing on the front porch, looking at me like, hey, when are you gonna let me in? I'm like, look, Buster, this is my house now. You got some neighbor feeding you, forget it. <laughs> so that's how I got my first cat. <laughs> then, um, and I call him, um, you know, he's an old boy cat, so I call him old boy cat. <laughs> and um, he used to be real scrapper, you know, you can tell by his torn ear and everything, but now he just lays around, he's just happy to get his house back. So then the second one, Okay, my daughter brings it home. Hey, mom, this little kitty, he's starving. She, she's starving to death. I'm like, what am I, the, the freaking SPCA? <laughs> so I think, oh, okay, teach her some responsibility. <laughs> she's 37. So, you know, she's a little girl cat, so I call her little girl cat. Little girl cat. <laughs> Even though now she's about 19 pounds. <laughs> okay, you're gonna love this story. So my neighbor, I don't know what it, Bob or Rob or Todd or something, I don't know, he comes up to me and he says, um, oh, you're, you have a lot of cats, right? He says, um, I got a cat that pees all over everything. And I think he's gonna ask me, like, what do you do to stop him from peeing? He says, will you take him? <laughs> I said, what am I, do I look like a freaking idiot? <laughs> so that's how I got my third <laughs> <laughs> I call him P. <laughs> That's short for P. <laughs> and you know, he only pees when he's not getting his way. So, I tell you, you have to, I'll give you, do you have any, do you have any animals? Anyway. Don't get any, but um, if you do, you have to be really tough with them when they take over the whole place. Like, okay, I'm coming home from grocery shopping, and I'm thinking, as soon as I get in the door, I'm gonna take off my shoes, I'm gonna unload the groceries, and I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Not in that order. No, I go in, the first thing, pee, the cat pee, runs to the middle of the living room rug and gets into this crouch position. He wants to be petted. And if I don't pet him, <laughs> okay, so I start petting him. Okay, then old boy cat runs upstairs, jumps into the bathtub. Do you know what he wants? He wants me to run upstairs, turn on the faucet so he can lick the water coming out of the faucet. Do I look like some kind of freaking idiot? <laughs> so after I do that, <laughs> I go downstairs and little girl cat, who now 
you know, weighs 19 pounds, has got herself somehow hefted herself onto the kitchen table. She's stalking back and forth like a tiger in a cage. You know what she wants? She wants me to take a brush and every time she goes by, brush her cheek. She wants me to do that for the rest of my freaking life. <laughs> I said, listen, little girl cat, you know, you have to set limits, right? You have to be tough, it'll take over. I said, I'm gonna set the time. An hour and 45 minutes, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> So, an hour and 45 minutes later, she still wants it, and I'm ready to pee on the floor. <laughs> and interruptions, you know, um, I tell you, you have to be tough. Okay, so I'm doing something that takes a lot of concentration, like my nails. All of a sudden, of course, the little girl cat, she's scratching at the door. She wants to go in or she wants to go out. I don't know. Old boy cat is throwing up the water he drank. <laughs> and little and pee is walking around looking for the next place to pee. You know, I had a friend who told me, every time you get interrupted, you lose two IQ points. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I told that lady I told that lady who does the Botox, I told her that. She said, Oh Darlene, I'm glad you mentioned that. Because every time I do Botox on you, you gain two IQ points. <laughs> she said, Do I look like a freaking idiot? <laughs> So after 24 treatments, <laughs> I still can't remember my password. 